Tuesday marks two weeks since Dolphins players reported for training camp and the next steps in the preparations for the 2021 regular season will take place over the next two days with the joint practices with the Chicago Bears. It's then a perfect time to evaluate where the Dolphins stand, understanding obviously that a lot of things still can and will happen between now and the start of the regular season against the New England Patriots at Gillette Stadium on September 12th. Here then are some quick-hitting observations from those first two weeks of camp from someone, me, who is among the only reporters who has seen every single practice to this point. We'll see with Tua because he's obviously the focal point. Without question, he looks better than he did at this time last year, but his performance also has been overblown because it's so often lacking contest. Here's an example. The Dolphins often run a three-on-three half-field passing drill and Tua will make a pretty throw in those circumstances. So, yes, the throw is nice, but understand that the drill, without a pass rush, is a lot more favorable to the offense than the defense. On other plays, Tua will hold the ball longer than he would in a game because he knows his defensive teammates aren't going to hit him and then complete a pass downfield. Well, again, it's a nice practice play, but it's not exactly the definition of lighting it up. Remember when he threw the five picks in minicamp? Those didn't matter microscopically because it was practice. Well, same thing here. Jacoby Brissett has been hot and cold with his accuracy, but he's certainly not afraid to let it rip down the middle of the field. Reed Sinnott is bound for the practice squad, but he does show a very good arm. At running back, the two things that have stood out is that Miles Gaskin is showing the same kind of burst he showed last summer that propelled him to his much bigger role. And then there's rookie seventh-round pick Garrett Dokes, who still continues to show questionable hands as a receiver. Albert Wilson was the story of camp early on, but he's been very quiet in recent practices and then sat out the workout Sunday. We've talked enough about Jalen Waddell's ankle and his health, but what needs to be mentioned is he's shown the ability to make tough catches, though he has had his share of drops. Jakeem Grant had a bad drop in the back of the end zone in practice Sunday, but the truth is he's caught pretty much everything else thrown his way and has been a big factor in practice. At tight end, the one player who has stood out is Adam Shaheen, and not just because of his stance on vaccination. He has been easily the biggest playmaker at the position so far. That said, though, Seathan Carter has looked good as a receiver after arriving in South Florida with a mostly special teams and blocking background. There's already been a lot of discussion about the offensive line, so we'll just limit our comments here to saying that Michael Deiter sure looks like he has seized that starting center job. On the defensive line, Christian Wilkins getting snaps with the second team might have been an overblown story because he actually looks good in practice and he'll wind up getting a lot of snaps regardless. There have been a lot of nice developments at linebacker, which might be the most improved position on the team. Brennan Scarlett wasn't necessarily that well known when he arrived as a free agent, but he's been really noticeable in camp as a pass rusher. We've already discussed at length Scarlett's former Houston teammate Bernardrick McKinney and how good he looks against the run but no he's also got some pass rushing ability. Andrew Van Ginkel was sidelined for a bit last week, but he's looked good enough to think he can build on his nice 2020 season. In the secondary, the one who has jumped out is youngster Terrell Bonds, while Trill Williams and Craven LeBlanc also have had their moments and are worth watching. Finally we get to the specialists and we can tell that, even though it won't mean anything in games, Jason Sanders has been practically automatic on his field goal attempts. New punter Michael Pilardi, meanwhile, is really put together and he looks like he'll be a fine replacement for the departed Matt Hawk, who's now in Buffalo.